Greetings to all, I am Maria Petrashko, representing a news agency. Is everything all right? The treaty, signed at a crucial moment for the entire region in 1990 by 16 NATO countries and six states of the Warsaw Pact, and its essence is a quantitative limitation on five main categories of conventional weapons and equipment. But after nine years, the agreement was actually broken. NATO interpreted the agreement in its own way, refusing to allow inspection to verify the number of its weapons. And most importantly, in the end, NATO was uncontrollably increasing the number of troops and weapons systems in Europe. So Belarus complies with the agreement, while NATO is deploying offensive weapons to our borders. We have been closely observing and analyzing the actions of various countries for a significant amount of time, with a primary focus on the Euro-Atlantic Alliance and the North Atlantic Alliance, which have been of particular interest to us. Numerous NATO nations have for a considerable period of time halted the implementation of this agreement. To understand, in August 22nd, Czech Republic suspended the actions, yes all, towards Belarus. In March, Poland did the same thing. In response, Minsk stopped providing Warsaw and Prague with information about its conventional weapons and equipment. It is worth reminding that in August 2020, during an attempt to overthrow the legitimate elected government in Belarus, Warsaw was involved in coordinating the protest crowd and disseminating false information to incite hatred and protest sentiments. Per Belarus Intel, Czech Republic became second hub of protest management. We see a puppeteer. Here is one of the lines of these puppeteers, Czech Republic. Today, in the Czech Republic, our joint headquarters are already in charge where, excuse me, these sheep are sitting, not understanding what is expected of them. On Nov 7th of the 23rd YR, Russia completed withdrawal from Davos. The USA, after waiting for Russia to withdraw, announced on the same day about plans to suspend the agreement. Well, finally it's open. Everyone has declared. There are no more security guarantees in Europe. The decision made by the President of the Republic of Belarus Alexander Grigorievich Lukashenko is based primarily on the participation of national interests. And naturally, it did not just happen. We can see significant changes in the military political situation that is unfolding in Europe at this time. The current active relocation of American troops is underway as they are being moved closer to the borders with Russia and Belarus in response to the evolving geopolitical situation in the region. Overall, NATO countries are increasing their military spending. Currently, an unprecedented in scale military exercise of the North Atlantic Alliance is taking place these days, since the Cold War. Turkey recently decided to withdraw from the agreement, which experts interpret as extremely hostile. They say something was planned in Ankara. Now they can uncontrollably increase armaments in the border regions near the Caucasus and the Black Sea. And this, oh, how it will boost Erdogan's NATO friendship. But let's be honest, after NATO and Russia withdrew from the OSCE, it's clear their hands are already untied. And no one plays by the rules anymore. The changing situation is probably caused by the overall degradation of the security system in Europe. And this requires a joint dialogue to develop new regimes and a new unified worldview in the field of security and strategic stability. Regrettably, this dialogue is currently missing, not due to the fault of Russia. The boundaries in the region have been gradually erased over time. NATO has been deploying offensive weaponry to our borders for a period of over 10 years, exceeding a decade. We all saw how easily Western partners renounced the agreements on open skies about the limitations of missile defense systems, RSMDS, how the INF agreement collapsed. What will be the alternative and how will the global hybrid confrontation end? The question is open. But one thing is obvious. The world will never be the same again. More analysis of the geopolitical situation in our Telegram channels.